and welcome back to Young Inventors YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to tell you all, is it a success to make an electric bike with 775 DC motor? So first, I'm going to tell you all what I have used in this. So I have used one 775 DC motor. I have pasted a, a rubber, a tube of this wheel to a wood over here and connected to the shaft cut. So here I have used a key ignition and two extra switches for LED and one lever switch. So here I have used two 12 volt 7 ampere battery connected in series. So first I am going to show you a demo by carrying the wheel. Okay. So I have started. I take the This was just the speed when I carried the wheel. Now I'm going to show you all. I'm going to sit and show you all the speed of the bike. So when I sat on the bicycle and rode on it, it didn't take me because there's no much power on this 775 DC motor. So if you all are making an electric bike, so I'm going to tell you all is not to use only one 775 DC motor but instead you all have to use three. The reason why I put the 775 DC motor on the front wheel instead of the back wheel is because when I, I notice that the back wheel has the back wheel has more pressure than the front wheel. So if you all are making you all have to put three 775 DC motor. It's like one over here and one over here and one and one over here so it will help to take the it will help the tires to move in front so when you all are using three 775 dc motors you all are not supposed to put this 12 volt 7 ampere battery but instead you all have to put 12 volts 14 ampere battery which they use for electric most of electric bikes so you all have to use two and connect in series so now i'll tell you all the connections i'll connect the wire from the 775 DC motor and I have taken one wire and taken two wires from here and I have connected to the key ignition point. The brown wire goes to the key ignition point. The other side will go to the uh, lever switch. Then the second wire, the blue color wire is going directly to the lever switch. So when I press, it will start. So the rest of the wire uh, the goes to the battery. The connections are very simple. To charge my 12 volt 7 ampere battery, I am using this uh, 12 volts 5 ampere SMPS power module. So this helps me to charge in just 2 hours. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.